Oh, that's a pretty shot, too. Nope, their Corvettes are going down. Hey guys, it's Wolf with Valhalla Gaming, and we are finally back with Cliff Empire, and we're going to be doing a little bit of work here, and uh, I guess I have some explaining to do what's been going on in the past few months. So while we do it, we're going to look at our uh, historic district over here, which I forgot. Is that the... Yeah, that's the Notre Dame. What was it waiting on? I think it's the 100... Yeah, expensive boy. I forgot that was a thing. Okay. Well, regardless, we have a pretty good manpower here. Uh, we got weather issues here. I forget. Can we even fix the weather issues here? I don't think that's a thing that we can do here because it's just always cold. Let's see if they've maybe added anything in the building menu. Yeah, I don't see anything that's going to fix... I, I see nothing that will fix our weather issues. Because our medicine is good enough. Oh no, I didn't mean to build anything. Uh, that's defensive. That's storage stuffs. Food stuffs. You're, yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. That, this all makes sense, you know. This this all makes sense. Uh, yeah, I see nothing to fix that issue. So if the producers of this game are looking at it, it would be nice to be able to fix that. We do have an unemployment of 52 here, though, so I suppose... We can either fix that by getting rid of 52 people, which is one of these houses, just about. Or we can just add another building. Hmm. Actually, what, you hold 250, right? So if I got rid of... That's 1, 2, 3... It's 80, 120, 160 people. 160 people. I could do a third tower right here, but I don't really want to. We disconnected the city because we were building the historic district, but now I'm not sure how I wanted to continue with it, which was a big issue I was running into before, because um, these historic blocks are quite large, and we have some over here. I don't know. Uh, if y'all want to see something specific right here, go ahead and let me know. But we did have a request to do a tour of the cities uh kind of like a walking tour so we'll do that we'll hop over here we'll do a walking tour of the cities and uh we'll do that while i explain kind of what's been going on so let me see if i can remember how to how to walk here what, what is my but it's been so long since i played this game uh one of these buttons i swear turns me into a person oh what no that's not what i wanted Nope, that's my UI. Nope. Actually, it's kind of good to know. Trading P? L, K, something. Something here. Make the... Oh, not my trade shuttles. Oh, they've added so many more hotkeys. I, I don't... Hmm. Let's kind of slow things down a little bit here. See if I can't remember the... Oh, there we go. Tab. So, we'll start on our first city that we started with new Asgard and we'll just hop on over to where a new citizen of new Asgard would come from which is on the platform mm. sorry I have a protein shake right now and it is delicious so you have to think you've been frozen in space for God knows how long whichever God you believe in we don't discriminate here you get shot out of a shuttle land here quite abruptly you've probably puked a few times by now but this is the first thing you see our glorious tower of light here producing literally another sun an ancient roman architecture with a little bit of space shuttle drones left and right of us you come up and you immediately have a district court here with all of our good citizens <laughs> Oh boy, I'm glad I turned off the citizens. They were making my computer crash. There's too many of them. Anyway, if you hang a left, you'll find a city square with all the information you would ever need.
for the city and a statue of somebody. And you can just kind of walk around here. Or if you go to the right, you have what is essentially a matter mine. Another city square and some small houses, statues, and a matter mine that is decorated with trees. So, you know, you don't really see the ugliness of destroying the cliff. And then we have our apple orchards, which we can walk through. You can see they're producing plenty of apples for the citizens to enjoy. And then we have our housing area. So all of these ancient Roman style houses for our little families to live in. Um, you peek your head over, oop, peek your head over without falling down like I just did. You'll see our industrial area. We have avocado, whatever the hell that is. I forgot the name of them. Avocado devices. I want cloud comfort. I wonder if avocado is making fun of apple. I never realized that until now. You have more matter mines, our wineries, things like that. Uh, you'll hop back up here. Oh, nope, come on. Okay. And as you depart, you'll find our more businessy district. We do have a town market for people to buy and sell goods. As you get closer, you have, you know, our banks, some more hospitals, things like that. And then as you come behind the giant sun in a tower, we have the football stadium. Actually, it's very small for a football stadium. I don't know what kind of football they're playing, but it's kind of like the same size as the football stadium in uh, Starship Troopers, whatever weird foosball they were playing. And then behind that, you have a giant statue. We have our two giant residential statues. And uh, yeah, right here you have a giant statue and some off-the-cliff buildings. And that's pretty much it for this part of the city. What was it? Tab? There we go. So that's pretty much it for New Asgard. You know, we kind of didn't go too much into the industrial district or the fishing areas, but that's that's pretty much it. And then if you really wanted to, you decide maybe this isn't the city for me. Maybe maybe I'm just not having it. We'll hop on a train. Achievement unlocked. Flying lemon. I didn't even know that was an achievement. Bizarre. And we'll wait very patiently for this train to fill up with um, some other very well-crafted three-dimensional beings. And eventually, once the other train gets here with all of those goods on it, because our cities are constantly trading with each other. Oh, look at... Oh, that's what you want to see on the train next to you. Nuclear... Oh, boy. Uh, somebody called... Uh, whatever. Anyway. We will then traverse the bridge and we will see all of our firefighters for some of our city over there and we'll see a bunch of our stuff over here. Get a great view of uh, Helheim over there. But now we're in Midgard. So we'll get off the train in Midgard and I'll get run over by the rest of it. And Midgard immediately as soon as you get off the train has our big... Uh, Where's the elevator at for this thing? I know it had an elevator somewhere. This is our natural museum, though, or museum of natural history. And then we have residential blocks here. Um, not nearly as pretty, a bit more uh, futuristic looking than the other city. We have our platform for new individuals, a small hospital, a bus stop, if you, uh, you know, wanted to ride a bus wherever it may go. Can ride to the top of it and just kinda, you know, be up here. You can't really get out of the elevator though. It's kinda weird. But we'll continue the tour of Midgard here. There's an elevator. It goes to the top of one of our hotels. We have a self-sustaining housing module here. Bunch of people enjoying some time out by the apple orchard. And the statues. Oh, gods. That scared me. Our people are happy. Oh, look at that. That's what you want to see. 
Oh, I found our thumbnail. Isn't that pretty? That's our thumbnail, right there. Mm. Gorgeous. Okay, well now that that scared me again, as it always does. Uh, yeah, we'll go over here. We have our not completed giant nuclear thing, or our miniature sun, and some nuclear power plants that'll be destroyed once it comes online. Some greenhouses growing our stuffs. And then if we step off of the cliff, we can look very closely at its off the cliff solar panels. Got some stuff over here. A small hotel with solar panels. A bunch of defensive systems. Some houses, which I, I would be terrified to live right here. But, you know, it is what it is. And that's pretty much it for Midgard. Uh, we didn't look at the industrial area that much. There's really not that much to look at. Our airport under the bridge, some farms, recycling, and then some more avocado and cloud comfort. And then a storage center right there. So now we'll gladly, uh, if I can reorient myself, find a train to take over to Helheim. Oh, speaking of a train to Helheim, here we go. Oh, that was fast. Hmm. And if you look off in the distance, you can see the glowing from Jotunheim, the ice citadel. And then maybe if you look up, you can see some glowing from our space station, but I don't know where it would be. Anyway. We have arrived, so let us dismount the train, and you're immediately greeted by some housing, a nice city square here, an air purifier that pulls uranium out of the air. Probably not good to be breathing in. Ooh, never thought about that. Oh, we have 31 social charges here. Should probably try and work on that. Some beautiful buildings. Uh, we have our archangels here, which escort our blimps. They land here at our hotels. A nice little waterfall that just loves to spew water. That is really pretty. If those blimps weren't there right now, that would be gorgeous. I also wish you could go inside of some of these buildings. Like, if I could go inside of this little greenhouse right here, like this off-the-wall park. Like, look how nice that'd be. Anyway, we're back. You know, you can walk down. We're going to go through a bit of our business area. We have some houses here. A nice water fountain, but this is mostly the business district. We got our banks, our World Bank right there, which is beautiful. And then you keep going, and we have our wineries, water purifiers, power stations, some more avocado devices. Yes, my avocado is broken. I would like a new one. Where, where, Where's your manager? Oh, Cliff Tech. I wonder if that's like Apple or Microsoft. Yeah, we have some more of them. Uh, we have some buildings under construction. Kind of forgot what they are. It's been a long time since I've played another one of our giant thingies. Our son's uh, a hospital in case anybody's injured while they're working on any of this. Some defensive systems. And that is pretty much it for the three cliffs. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. But... If we hop over to Valhalla, which is up here, you'll see that there are some entertainment areas for these people. Um, our manpower is at 93, but that's because really the only way to max anything at this point is to uh, just have them have give birth. It's really the only thing we can do. Uh, I can't defrost any more people, and a lot of people live in Jotunheim. But you can do a spacewalk here. We can do a spacewalk here. This is one of our shuttles that drops stuff off on the planet. So if we send anything from the planet, or to the planet, it actually comes from one of these drop ships, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have entertainment areas, which unfortunately we can't really go inside of. A half ring hospital, it's good for your health and your mental health. There goes one of our trade shuttles from down below. Look how pretty it is. 
Kind of reminds me of the older frigates from Halo, honestly. And she's gone. Uh, we have an approaching enemy fleet. I ain't worried about it. And we have some housing. There she goes. All the way back down to our home. Oh, I've never just looked down. That's really pretty. Where are we at? What would that be considered? I can't really get a grasp of where over the planet we would be right now. Um, so let's see. We have an approaching enemy fleet. You know, the good thing is we don't have approaching enemy fleets while we're in space, though. And then inside of here, yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much all of that. Uh, let's see where this approaching enemy fleet is coming from. Is it hitting here? Doesn't look like it's hitting here. Is it hitting New Asgard? I don't really see any red arrows. Do y'all see any red arrows? Hmm. Guess we'll just have to speed it up and see what happens. Uh, what are you waiting on? I forget. Oh, you're just waiting on... A thousand. Ooh, that's that's rough. What are you waiting on, Helheim? Trading platform arrived. Uh, Three hundred and twenty-seven thousand. Okay. Oh, look at all that tourism, though. I still don't see where any of these enemy fleet is coming from. Top over here. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we do have these on the walls ring structures uh, I don't really know what to do with them I put some generator or some shields on top of them I remember doing that so I guess we can keep that up because it fits right there and it'll guard everything around it but we'll do a little tour of this area too I suppose where is our landing area did I move the landing area for here? On wall construction completed. I don't really remember where the landing area is at. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I put the landing area up here by the fields. That's right. I wanted to move it down here somewhere. I just don't know where to put it. Oh. Well, uh wait for this approaching enemy fleet to show up whenever they decide to finally show up. Let's see what happens. But while we uh, wait for that fleet, actually, we'll just do our little tour here. So, uh, I'm pretty close to the platform right here. Yeah, it's right here. So you get off the platform, immediately greeted by a battery of defensive turrets, so you know you're protected. Just what you love to see. You've got all of our trade platforms, blimps flying overhead, and you look over the cliff and you're greeted by all of these fields. Isn't it just pretty? So we're going to walk down here. It'd be safer if there was a staircase in this game. Trading platform arrived. But you come down here, you can walk through the fields, you look over to the left, and that's the big industrial district. You look in front of you and you just see the sun being harnessed by a giant tower. Two giant residential blocks here, or residential towers. And you know, it's just some parks. It's quite peaceful here. I enjoy it. But we continue. And as you continue, you'll look to your left and you'll just see more of these smaller residential areas. A courthouse just kind of by itself. The unzoned areas, we're going to call it for now, because I don't know what I'm going to do with all this just yet. And you make your way to the historic block. And uh, as we roll into the historic block, you'll see all of these beautiful historic houses. It almost reminds me of Rome, except Rome wasn't painted all white. You can get lost, and have some cafe, stop at a cafe somewhere, not have some cafe. Maybe go for a walk through our apple orchards here. Or come back here and enjoy our 
churches, if that's your thing. We all know that church is a massive thing for some people, so... I'm actually pretty sure these are universities, but they just look like churches. I forget what they are. And then we'll find our way up to the more modern area. Oh, yep, thank you. Uh, we got another one of the giant suns under construction. So we're not going to touch that. But you'll come here, you'll see some of our law district. And then in front of the law district, we'll have some hotels, some sanatoriums, some entertainment. So all the stuff you want in like a nice nice modernized downtown everything's within walking distance another soccer stadium or football stadium all of our denarius wind turbines which make a little park that you can kind of get lost in gives you a good overlook of the city And then you can keep exploring the more modern downtown as we continue. Find some of our more cluttered housing districts mixed with business. It's kind of those people that live in... Oh god, not, not the button I meant to hit. Kind of the people that live where they work, you know. I never expected these buildings to kind of spiderweb the way they did, but I really love how they did that. Yeah, isn't that just pretty? Just... On wall construction completed. Then you come over here and you have a university. Uh, this is the business area, kind of like the Wall Street. You know, banks, businesses, giant nuclear tower. Same thing as Wall Street. And you come over here. And you kind of have the end of the city. I kind of want to put some parks here, actually. That way you can just kind of bring yourself to the, you know... Bring your kids or your dog to the park over here and just overlook the water. And everything we have created in this very long series of me learning how to play this freaking game. And we're not done yet. We just had to take a break. Which I suppose I do owe y'all an explanation for that. So if any of you do know me in person, you know that uh, I go to therapy probably once or twice a week. Trading platform arrived. And YouTube was just taking a toll on my mental health, so I decided to take a break from it. And uh, with that break, turned into a bit longer of a break than I intended. And then I actually ended up on a training exercise out in the desert. And uh, I got back about two weeks ago. I've just been settling in since then. So, you know, there's there's a lot of downtime there. And I, I just want to say I appreciate everybody who did stick around who do watch the content and who patiently waited for a new episode to come out because they are going to be coming out uh, more often now maybe not as often as they were and next year is going to be a little bit harder with me actually going on a deployment to god knows where but outside of that expect some more content expect some more cliff empire and leave some comments down below of what else you would like to see and what other shenanigans we can get into. Oh, here we go. Not all people who return to Earth had bad. Okay. So let's pause. Where are they attacking? So we got two fleets hitting here. That'll be fun. Valhalla, you are safe. New Asgard. Oh, it's only Jotunheim that they're attacking? Oh, that's a bold move. Jotunheim is probably the most heavily defended... All right, so uh, let's uh, let's get a seat for this, shall we? Let me just back up right here, and we'll just get a seat for this one, and we'll enjoy the show. I don't really care if they destroy one or two things. So they're coming from the left and the right. So let's see what happens here. Let's well, uh. Uh, unpause. Sure, yeah. So, oh, there they are. We already are engaging them. We have heavy engagement up there. Look at those rockets streaking up. That's beautiful. Oh, we already took out their cruisers. Their small ships are still in a fight. 
But most of their heavies are already knocked out. What about over there? I can't really see past... Okay, we'll zoom out. Get a good shot over here, maybe. Oh, our batteries are engaging openly. Can I stand? Oh, I can. Oh, I can get so close to them. What are you doing? Leave my city alone. Oh, they're just getting wrecked. Take out the Corvettes. Come on. Oh, that's a pretty shot, too. Nope, their Corvettes are going down. I don't think any of them survived from the other side. All of their Corvettes are knocked out. We got one building destroyed. Two fleets. Two fleets. And we lost, what? A single battery? Yep. We lost a single machine gun battery. For two fleets. You hate to see that. You just hate to see it. Hate to see it. Actually, I love to see it. Small construction I'm gonna hop over here, see how they're doing. Uh, only need about 200 more. And you know, only another like 7,000. I forgot they're 270,000. Which means Midgard should be able to build it as soon as it gets Small enough matter. Completed. Awesome. Well, we'll give this reward over to Helheim because it's the one lacking on funds in order to build its 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 new tower. Uh, it's 98% complete. Uh, it's only five grand short. Oh boy. Oh no. And to be fair, we could give it a loan. But we need more matter here anyway, so. About 160 more matter and we'll be set. I don't know where we're getting matter from here, but, you know, we'll eventually get it done. I wonder what, what was the day that we started on? What is our date? What is our current date? 3 June 2107. I want to look at the first day that we played this game. And see how many years it's actually been to do all this. Can you imagine within like a few generations just going from a blank cliff to all of this? It's ridiculous. Not even a few, maybe one or two. Oh, only 140 left now. We're about to be good on power here. Yay, which means we won't have battery consumption at night because that's ridiculous when our solar goes away. That is really asinine when solar power goes away. And what about Midgard? How are you doing? You, you have a lot to do. Yeah, you, you really have a lot to do. But we can probably finish this one up. before the day is done. We only need another 120, not even. 114. Is there anything I can do to get more over there? And we're already recycling as much as we can. Solar stations, we don't even need these. Demolish those. These solar stations are going to end up... Oh, that's a 3D printing facility. That that might be useful. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to rebuild everything down here because we're going to lose... We're going to need a lot less power production. Also, what was right here? I'm curious. I don't know what I'm going to do right here. How many unemployed do we have? 92 unemployed here? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. What if we did a market? That's seven. Hotel is seven. That's nine. Fifty. 
So if we did an entertainment center. So we can do an entertainment center. So that leaves us with 42 people left. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? Perfectly 42. And all I have to really do is this. And then we can throw in maybe a garden on either side of it. Actually, no, I don't want a garden. Let me let me just demolish that real quick. I don't want a garden. Maybe a park? Yeah, a park on either side, and then another small street on either side of it to fill in the hole. Perfect. And we are only 77 away. I suck at math. 76. <laughs> it's going to end up being one of those things. I just know it is. Just going to sit here and wait for it. Trading platform arrived. On the bright side, we still have this going on. Um, yeah. So once all this is built, we should be pretty set. And then I can do some more stuff over here because what our education is down a little bit. I guess I could have made one of these an educational building. I keep hitting the wrong thing. Educational buildings don't really take as many jobs, though, do they? 30. Yeah, because this took 50. Here, let's demolish that then. We'll put an educational building, because that's 30. And then... That's 45. But I'd have to find... Oh, I'd have to find a place for the school itself. So what if we did that? We put a school here. Large construction completed. And then we find a place... That's not really being utilized. And put a university there. A university would not fit there, would it? No. Hmm. Well, glad that got finished, at least. What are you sitting at? We're waiting on 47? Okay. Well, while we wait on that, we can at least get the school also built, because that's only 20. Oh, no. Did we lose? Yeah, we lost a little bit of money. That's fine. Come on. Let's see that matter start moving. Am I not buying matter? Ah, uh, so I should be buying matter. But I'm not. Interesting. I see. I see. We're selling some. Definitely selling a good chunk of stuff, but uh, we might have to hand it over a loan from, say, New Asgard. New Asgard has the money to handle a loan, but we're only going to do that once. We have the next 39 material in here. Trading platform arrived. Hmm. I'm telling you all now, get some vanilla protein. Go buy an apple crisp macchiato from Starbucks, iced, throw it in a blender with vanilla protein. Your body will love you forever. Maybe. My body doesn't love me. My knees are always hurting. Hey, 26. 26 away. We're almost there. And we're getting a little bit of money, which is fine. I think we're only running out of money because I started building other stuff. And you, what do we want to build here? What don't we have? Appliance, uh, this, yeah. That's what we need here. All of that, because I don't think I have anything producing those, do I? Oh, we do. Interesting. We have one. Require 19. 
Hmm. Interesting. Pretty much from this point on, we're just going to be working on making our citizens happy as best we can. Uh, we're going to sell food to the orbital station. Like, that's actually going to be an issue. We're already doing that. It is going to affect our power, though. So we have to be cognizant that uh, we might run out of energy here because it's eight days. But if we hop over to, say, Midgard, who has plenty of cash, and we find its city management, we issue a loan to Helheim. Hey! Helheim is now significantly powered. And it only took $7,500 worth of stuff. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're doing good on everything. Now we will never run out of power here. We have our second... Oh, that's our third one built now, isn't it? Jeez. Now we just gotta hop over here. Let's see when Midgard's gonna build theirs. They're only another thousand away. Holy crap. Okay, I see. Where's our shuttles that are moving materials? I know I had one somewhere. Did he really just... Did I delete him when I was an idiot? He used to be, like, right here. I don't know what happened to him. I probably deleted him. I was like, we don't need him anymore. Little did I know, we actually did need him. Anyway, Helheim already almost has enough to pay back its uh, loan, so where is a building? Yeah, you. There we go. I don't know how much more loan we have, but uh, I think it's another two. I think it was two loans, so as we pay it back, we'll be good. Oh, it's so perfect. Trading platform alive. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do we have a trading platform or anything over here? Or are we just kind of freeballing this? Can I buy if less than like 10? Less than 10. So we can just buy from these other two cities that are in less need of the material. And you see, we're already going to start shooting up. We got plenty of money for it. Helheim's economy is already recovering greatly to the point where we only have one more loan to pay back. And it's not going to take that much longer. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong here anymore. I say we're pretty much solid. Especially once everybody's done building stuff. I also don't think we require this anymore. As you can see, our energy consumption is um, handled by other means. So that's perfect, because that gives me the area that I needed to put this university. And it's right next to a college, or a medical college, so that's even better. You can go normal university, or you can go medical. You can see one of ours here is built, this one is next, and you're slowly getting built. Which is perfect. We have enough money to finish paying back our loan. Now we're just chilling. Just chilling like some villains. You are dramatically shooting up, and maybe in the next episode... We will see our third cliff's beacon of hope. God, we've got so many beacon of hopes now. Jotunheim has... Coming up on two beacons of hope, honestly. Yeah, we're just waiting on 270 grand to finish this beacon of hope. 
That's going to be a little ridiculous, but we're going to have two of them here. And that'll happen eventually. Right now... Oh, this city almost has a million dollars. Yeah, Valhalla. The powerhouse. But that is uh, all the time I have for today. Thank everyone again for uh, joining. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.